Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether the following series converges or diverges. As we have an exponential function in our sequence, 3 to the n, we can use here, or at least a good bet, is to use the ratio test or the root test. In this video, we will be using the root test, and as an exercise, you can try and arrive at the same conclusion with the ratio test. It is worth mentioning that as we have, clearly, an alternating series, one could also try to apply the alternating series test, but the exponential function should supersede the alternating series test, so here a much better bet is to use the ratio or the root test, as both will provide a much shorter solution than if one were to apply the alternating series test. So let's apply the root test. So this is a n, the terms we are summing over, and if you recall the root test has to look at the limit as n tends to infinity of the absolute value of a n raised to the power of 1 over n. So the nth root of a n in absolute value. So let's replace. a n is simply negative 1 to the n, n to the 4 over 3 to the n, to the power 1 over n. Well, the absolute value function makes things positive. Look at the first term. This is negative 1 to the n. It's plus or minus 1. But in absolute value, plus or minus 1 is 1. So all we are left with is a multiple of 1. So we can ignore it. As everything else is positive, we can now drop the absolute value. We can now distribute the power of 1 over n to both the numerator and the denominator. Well, the simplest one is the 3 to the n raised to the 1 over nth power. n times 1 over n is 1, and so we are left with 3 on the denominator. The numerator, what I will do is I will swap the powers 4 and 1 over n. So this can be written as n to the 1 over nth power all to the 4. Right? In both cases, we are double exponentiating. And to show that really these two are the same, recall that if you double exponentiate, you can combine as a single exponent by multiplying the two exponents. So this is n to the 1 over n times 4, so n to the 4 over n. This is n to the 4 to the 1 over n, so n to the 4 times 1 over n, n to the 4 over n. So it's the same thing. And this should look familiar. As we have previously said, all the way non-trivial limit, as n tends to infinity, the nth root of n is approaching 1. So all we are left with is this term is approaching 1 to the 4, 1 to the 4 is 1 over 3, and the limit therefore is simply 1 over 3. This is clearly strictly less than 1, and if the limit of the nth root of a n in absolute value is n tends to infinity is strictly less than 1, the ratio test, not the ratio, sorry, but the root test, says that the corresponding series, so the series of a n from some point on to infinity, converges absolutely. By here the root test, so RT. Notice that we also use RT for the ratio test, but as there's no mistaking the root test for the ratio test, feel free to use RT in both cases, as the solution clearly indicates whether you are using the ratio test or the root test as in this case. And that's it.